Grim Repair here. Today we're going to be testing on the bench a digital EGR valve. If this video helps you out, be sure to subscribe. Uh, this one is bad actually because the cap is clogged and it blew out the, the seals inside the unit. You can actually hear it. And you can see that it's melted in there. So if your EGR valve's melted and it's leaking, you want to start the engine and feel around it. You'll be able to feel the exhaust coming out of there. If it's doing that, then you got a leak at the very least. And you also want to consider that maybe your cat's clogged and it's, it's killing your EGR valve. You also want to make sure that the <clears throat> tube going from the exhaust to the EGR valve and from the EGR valve to the intake manifold aren't clogged and built up with carbon. If they are, you can clean them out with a long screwdriver or a drill bit usually. Uh, to get this off the vehicle, you remove the two 10 millimeter bolts, pull it off. For the first test, you want to take some brake cleaner or carburetor cleaner and you want to spray into this hole, this hole, and this hole. And if any of it gets inside the center, it's not sealing. So you saw that there, came out the center. Same thing there, same thing there. That's because the seal was blown out by the, the exhaust pressure that built up because of the clogged cat. So it failed that test. The next test you want to do, the connector you can see in there looks kind of like this. We're going to ohm it out and we're going to go from the A terminal to the B terminal. We should have 20 ohms. We're going to go to the A from the A terminal to the C terminal and then we should have 10 to 17 ohms. And we're going to go from the A terminal to the D terminal and we should have 20 to 30 ohms. I'm going to put it on the low scale here, the ohm meter. All right, so from A to B, we're at 24 ohms. So that's no good. From A to D, we're at 23 ohms. So that one's good. And from A to C, we are at 12.7 ohms. So it passed that test, but it failed on one of those. One of the resistances came back bad <coughs> on uh, from A to from A to B. It's a little high. Now the third test you're going to want to do, I have a 12 volt drill battery here. You could use the car battery or you could even use a 9 volt. But what you want to do, you want to go from the A terminal with the positive and ground all of the other terminals and you should hear a pretty good click. I'm A to B right now. I don't have a click. I got a good click there from A to C. But none of the others. It should make a pretty pretty pronounced clicking noise and that's the valves down here opening and closing. And if it doesn't if it doesn't click on all three of them, you got a problem. And if if this passes all the tests, then you have a problem somewhere else with your your O2 sensors, your map sensor something else that this that the computer references off when it's checking to see if this is working or not anyway i hope this helped you out if it did be sure to subscribe high five you did it thanks for watching